Police swarmed a parking lot in Saline today after two co-workers were shot when they went outside for a break. One of them is in critical condition and police say the suspect is her ex-boyfriend. This happened on Woodland Drive near Ann Arbor Street and Michigan Avenue in Saline. Sean Lay live with how the chaotic scene unfolded. Sean, walk us through. Yeah, very chaotic and alarming for so many in Celine. This came in as an active shooter case to police. That's how they responded to it. Here's why. Three different crime scenes spread out here and multiple people hurt. And then all of a sudden we could hear sirens and come out here and saw all this and then everybody showed up and it was like county after county. What looked and sounded like an active shooter situation unfolded right across the street from where Dwayne Garlic was working. Police flooding this area of Woodland and Maple, responding to the UAW local here and the assisted living center right across the street. Two people had been shot. The scene is so big because the 40-year-old victim and her 55-year-old co-worker took a break from their jobs at the assisted living center and walked to her car at the UAW lot. The shooter, police say, her 50 year old ex-boyfriend was here waiting and he opened fire. Police then rushed to this area of Ann Arbor and Willis. The shooter hitting a car head on trying to get away. He was finally caught here. A good Samaritan. He actually saw the suspect trying to flee from the head on crash and he got in front of him and actually stopped him from leaving. Celine police were in active shooter training at Celine High School today when the call came in. It's crazy. I've lived in this town for 35 years. First time I've ever seen anything like that. And the crazy thing is they had active shooter training at the high school yesterday. And active shooter training at the high school today. When this call came in, Saline police were all over it, getting things very calm very quickly and getting the information out also very quickly indeed. The 40-year-old, again, we just checked with the chief in Saline. She remains in critical condition. She tells me her condition has not changed, Karen and Devin, but she is alive. Doctors are working to save her, and so many are hoping she pulls through. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. So hope so. All right. Thank you, Sean.